One of man's dreams has always been to turn the commonplace into the valuable, dross into gold. A way has been found of doing just that, converting cellulose, one of the most common substances on earth, into alcohol, one of the most valuable. Cellulose is what all plants are primarily made of. A trillion tons of the stuff grows on our planet every year, grows, and then just as naturally, decays. It's the decay that we're interested in. Cellulose is broken down by a common organism known in some places as jungle rot. This attacks cellulose and converts it into sugar for its own nutriment. In the laboratory, the process goes like this. Take a source of cellulose. Let a fungus related to the notorious jungle rot go to work on it, and the results are dramatic. Here we see a wet mash made from ordinary garbage and the same stuff after the fungus has been acting on it for a few hours. Adapting a natural process for industry takes some doing, however. The first step is the fungus itself. Scientists at Gulf Oil Chemicals had to isolate a strain that would do the job best. But why do these scientists want to use this fungus to convert cellulose to sugar? because sugar is one step away from alcohol, the prized end product. Today, with petroleum getting scarcer and more expensive, alcohol has taken on a new importance. All of the synthetics, fibers, plastics, chemicals, that are today being made from petroleum can be made from alcohol. The way of arriving at this valuable end product is another natural process, one that people have employed for thousands of years, ordinary yeast fermentation. Of course, not just any kind of yeast would do. Special varieties had to be developed. On a laboratory scale, the whole cellulose to alcohol process goes like this. Put a source of cellulose, in this case treated municipal garbage, together with yeast and an enzyme derived from the fungus. The enzyme breaks the cellulose down into sugar and in the same container at the same time, the yeast converts the sugar into alcohol. All of the materials that go into the process are commonplace and cheap and the end product is of great importance not only as a potential energy source but as an industrial chemical. There are two ingredients, however, that have made it possible to change these commonplace raw materials into a valuable end product, human ingenuity and many hours of hard work. Today, the cellulose conversion process exists as an industrial prototype. One of the great values of cellulose conversion is that the raw materials are frequently industrial wastes. We're looking at waste from a paper mill. Up to now, disposal of these wastes has been a problem. This new process makes them useful. The plant is designed to operate continuously. A source of cellulose in one end and alcohol out the other. The plan now is to build plants with the capacity of producing tens of thousands of gallons of alcohol per day. <laughs> 